Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had seen assemblies, or or you can say introduction to assemblies in .NET. In this session, we will see uh, assemblies in a in a more elaborated manner. Uh, we'll see what is the difference between .exe and .dll, and uh, we also see how to create strong name assembly. So I go to my Visual Studio. First of all, we understand what exactly is the difference between .exe and .dll. So I created one uh, console application inside that we having program.cs and I'm writing uh, one line of code in my main method. So I will write only the uh, console dot write line and then just write this is my first dot net program. So I have this line of code. So basically with the help of program execution in dot net will we can understand that this is the uh, this this complete code of line going to be converted into .exe file so if I run over here it will run and it will give you the output and if I go to my project here and I go to open folders in Windows Explorer uh, they having they they having bin and then debug and then I have this console application one .exe now if I copy this and I paste it on the desktop, it's completely fine. But you see here, if I double click, it'll run, okay? But when I again double click, it again works. And I, if I again double click, it'll again run, okay? So what can you conclude from this? Basically the thing is, every uh, this this exe this particular exe this particular exe or this particular exe every particular output or every particular exe is having their own memory address address space or mem memory space in inside this operating system so this is like it needs uh, they, they they are not inter interdependent with each other they are somehow independent uh, so this is your exe they have their own memory address address space but when I say dot dll, okay, we are having dynamic link library. <coughs> when I when I talk about them, uh, how exactly you can run your dll? So uh, if I say I have any dll, yeah, I, I have. <coughs> so let's say this dll, okay, we are having this dll file. How exactly you can run it? If I double click, do you think this will run? So you can see here the error is the file does not have a program associated with it for performing this action. So this is the thing. DLL is not an executable file. It needs something to run. And and you can see this is written over here. The file does not have a program, okay, associated with it. So it doesn't have any program. So what exactly we can do in .NET? We can we need a hoster, okay? We need some host application which can run this DLL file. And what could be the you know hoster in .NET? Simply if I can say if I can add or embed this .dll to my exe application, it will run. It will run completely very fine. So what I'm gonna do here is I add one dll file here. I go to uh, the solution and add and add new project. And I will take the class library here. I give a let it be the default one class library one, and I press OK. So this is this is my uh, DLL file. I go to class1.cs and I'll add one method here, the public string method, and I just make a return statement. That is return. This is from. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I forget. Almost. This is from DLL. Okay, and now I need to add or I need to call this method inside my program.cs. But before that, I need to build this and I need to add this library inside my console application. So, how can I do is with the help of console application one project reference, I click and add reference, and you can see your class library one, your DLL. So, just press OK and it will. Uh, add it to my reference folder you can see here okay see class library so it has been added now I can go to my program.cs file I need to first import this and we having this namespace using class library 
remember this this name should be the same exact name which you had uh, which you having uh, inside your project your deal name this should be same exact same otherwise there might be some compile time errors okay so this is my first program instead of this I'll write this is from dot exe oh. okay and I need to fetch that uh, method so how exactly I can do is with the help of the class 1 that is my uh, the class 1 of here you can see this one this this class so I'm calling that class I'll create his object and I make the instance of that one and then I'll just fetch that method so how can I fetch is with the help of object you can see object dot method and you can see the method is it, it, that is called here so object method and I need to save somewhere uh, and I, I need to print actually so console dot write line and just give the braces okay control shift B build succeeded everything works fine and now I need to run this so what exactly I'm gonna do here is I go to the solution first of all open folders and Windows Explorer console application bin debug now you can see there is one exe file and we have dll so this dll needs a hoster and the hoster is this exe file so if i run that run this dot exe it will show me two messages one that is the console dot right line this is from exe from here only and one is from this dll return this is from dll this comes to here so if i double click you can see this is from DLL and this is from EXE basically and you can understand this DLL this code of line is coming from this particular DLL so it needs a hoster and we give them okay so this is the complete difference between assembly and uh, sorry uh, uh, EXE file and dot DLL I hope you understand thank you